guess it'd help if I turned on the mic right so anyway good morning um long time no see uh I need to do just a little bit of house cleaning uh this morning before I get into today's show um I'm going to this is the only time that I'm going to speak to any of the, the nonsense that happened. <laughs> okay. So. Let's just, let's just get into it. Um, first and foremost. Uh, did I run? And the answer is yeah, kind of. Um. When everything happened, when all that kind of blew up, I had decided, uh, or I came to the conclusion or decision or what have you, uh, hastily, I might add, and it was, I have to, to take ownership for that, right, that uh, I was done. I was no longer going to um, make content. 
I was uh, done with social media, uh, at least for a long period of time. I thought maybe possibly I might come back after I retired um, because uh, most everybody knew that uh, or at least I, I, I think that my regular viewers uh, knew that I was struggling with uh, continuing to make content. I didn't like I didn't like the, the topics and stuff that were readily out there um, to be covered on a that was in the I guess for lack of a word news cycle day in and day out. Didn't much care for it. I was struggling on on um, how to 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 navigate the waters. And then when everything happened, I thought, okay, fine, this is it. This is the ripcord. I'm out. Um, <clears throat> so I exited very abruptly. Um, I really didn't, I don't think, um, gave my viewers, uh, my, you know, my supporters, I don't think I necessarily gave you guys um, I just kind of try to do, as they say, an Irish exit. Um, I spoke to the people in my life that really mattered. And those people are my family, primarily number one, always is my wife. And, uh, and then, um, uh, I talked with, uh, of course my sons and I talked with, um, some some friends of mine um, that I've been gaming with for 20 plus years. Um, my wife uh, was supportive of whatever decision I made. She honestly didn't know why I did this stuff to begin with, but um, she was just supportive of, of no matter what direction she did say, well, what about your coffee beans? Um, she did because she, I guess in her own way knew that, you know, that I, I, um, was fond of, of all the, the people that came in day in and day out and supported me. Um, my gaming friends and stuff <laughs> said that, uh, basically they were kind of glad that I was quitting it for two reasons. One was it was going to give them more time to game with me because they had missed me. Two was they said they kind of really didn't like the person I had become. Um, they said that when I was gaming with them, it, I was a very angry and bitter person. And it was, I was not the person that I had always been. Now, I don't know if that was because I was just uh, burnt out. I don't know if it was because of the, the, the content that was covering and doing. Uh, I don't know. I don't have answers to that. They just said that they were glad because it did seem like I was in a better uh, mind. So, uh, there was that. And then the roughest one. So, the whole reason why I'm back, sitting at this computer, in front of this webcam, talking to you guys this morning, and this is it, the sole reason why I'm back. So, either be rejoiceful in this, or be upset by it, uh, you have to thank my youngest son. In my conversation with my youngest son, He used one of my own life lessons that I used with him and his brother as they were growing up back at me. He threw my own words back at me, and that stung. I'm not going to lie. It stung, and it was an extremely bitter, hard pill to swallow. And what my son told me was this. There were times when my, kid, my boys were growing up and stuff, as all of us, I'm sure, went, went through this. And I'm sure, and I, or at least I hope that you had a somebody in your life that mattered to you, that that you listened to, 
that when you went through a rough patch, rather than allow you to quit, they basically told you to, as my son basically told me was, quit being a pussy and get back up in the horse. Climb back up in that saddle, right? Which is kind of, and, and, and if you guys know me, I, you know, I'm a John Wayne fan, right? And so, you know, that's one of the things I always told my son that, you know, when, when, or both my sons, when life bucks you off, which it will, because you're going to come against, you're going to have some, you know, some trials and tribulations and whatever. Maybe you need to take a minute to catch your breath, but then you've got to get back up in that, on that horse and you've got to ride it, right? To wherever that destination is, you have to ride that horse, right? And so I took a moment to catch my breath to figure out, is there a path forward for me? Is there, is there a destination that I can still get on this horse and ride? And there is. And I think I found it. Now, some of you guys may continue to ride with me. And if you do, you're welcome. Right? And I will continue to try to do in the best way possible that I know how to, to entertain, to, to have some fun. Um, and if it's not what you're looking for, because you came here because, you know, you wanted, um, because of, you know, what I used to cover and the type of topics I used to do. If, if that, if you don't want to hang around, Hey, I understand. Um, uh, I, I fully understand and I don't blame you and I wish you all the best in the world, uh, and go forward. Um, so, um, I really can't and won't go into any of the rest of the nonsense that happened because um, I don't think it serves any purpose. I don't think that it does any good. I think there's still enough people out there that are talking about it and running with whatever stories that they want to run with about it. Some of the some of the stuff that's being said is pretty factual. Uh, some of the stuff is not, and I'm not going to try at this point in time to unmuddy the waters. The waters are what they are. My my hope is that eventually one of these days, sooner than later. Uh, just for my own mental health, I think at this point, that these waters go under the bridge and they move on. I made mistakes. I did things. I handled things probably the most worst way possible. Um, and, um, you know, like I, I put out in my tweet, if, if there are people out there that felt like that I wronged them in some way, then I do. I, I apologize to them, and I hope that someday uh, they can um, accept that apology, not for my sake, but for their own, and and that they can find some sort of peace of mind and and go forward. Um. Now, where does that leave us here on this channel? Well, I'm still going to try to stream maybe one or two days a week. Um, I might eventually get back up to where I'm doing three or, or so if if I feel like there's stuff out there that I can talk about. <clears throat> um, I will, I, I'm not leaving the commentary community. Let me be clear about that. Um, I'm still going to be watching... Uh, the different creators out there that I find entertaining and I'm still going to support uh, those entertainers and creators. Um, I would tell you more, more chances than not. Uh, you will not see me active in the chats. I just won't do it. Um, I'm really not going to be active on Twitter either. Um, other than to, um, you know, tweet out, um, you know, like if I've got a video dropping 
or if I've got a stream that I'm going to do. That's it. Uh, very limited social interaction. I did go ahead and I did set up another Discord. Uh, eventually, I will start taking calls again on my morning shows. Um, the bot should be sending out a link. Yeah, there's one there in chat now. <clears throat> this one's going to be set up a little bit different. Uh, people are going to have to verify who you are. So when you click on the link, uh, you should basically see two channels available. One of them is a welcome with some rules and regulations or not regulation, but some rules and things like that, guidelines, what have you. <clears throat> and the other one is a verification channel. And in that verification channel, you should see a message that's directed towards you and to you alone for you to click on to verify who you are. Once you do that, then you will get the kings to the kingdom to the rest of the... Uh, um, to the rest of what... Uh, um, you know, is out there and available. Like I said, today I'm not taking calls, but somewhere in the future I will. <clears throat> um, if you guys are having some sort of, you know, if you're needing some help with maybe setting up streaming or uh, maybe PC questions, things like that, you can hop into that Discord and you can ask me. And, you know, as always, I will try to help you guys as much as possible. Um... Uh, okay, monetization. Let's talk about that for a second. Uh, somewhere eventually, I will probably re-monetize this channel. If you guys want to support it, fine. If you don't, that's fine too. Uh, I will tell you this. Um, I will not be doing any type of philanthropy with it going forward. Um, and I know you guys are probably uh, disappointed to hear that. Um, I'll just tell you. Uh, it became more of a headache and hassle than what I'm willing to put up with at this date and time, period. Um, I, I was, I, I don't regret helping any of the people that, that, that you guys that supported through donations, through channel memberships, through just watching and getting, you know, a little ad revenue here and there. Um, I don't regret uh, any of the people that we helped. Uh, period. Uh, I hope that the people that we helped um, um, hopefully don't feel you know bad about using any of the technology and stuff that they they received uh, because of you know um, any of that situation. I hope there's no you know uh, uh, I uh, I. We'll still be doing some gaming streamings here or there uh, over on my gaming channel. Um, so, anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like I say, I, I do have a show built. I am going to do a show. We're going to, I've got some things to talk about, whatever. Um, if you haven't, I would maybe ask you to check out the video. I, I know it's not the best in the world. Uh, I am working on getting better on doing those types of videos. Editing and recording videos and writing scripts and things is, is something new for me. It's not something I really do or did. I was always more of a uh, off-the-cuff type thing. But I think by doing this, it's going to learn or it's going to help me acquire uh, the ability to be a little bit more How do I put this? I don't know. I guess how to to talk and to speak and, and to be a little bit more, um, ref, I don't know, whatever. I don't know how to put it because I'm not good with words. And that's it. I'm hoping that it's going to help me with my, with my vocabulary. And I hope that it's going to help me with um, just how to put things a little bit more succinctly i guess but anyway um structured yeah structured a little bit better structure um and not maybe be as chaotic i think there will always be some chaos there's always going to be well because it's me um i think there's just some innate 
things that are part of my makeup that I, I can't get away from, period. Um, so, uh, even Ico, yes, even Ico. Um, and for that matter, even Huggy. Um, you know, there's nobody, um, um, you know, that's just, uh, that's just the way it is, you know. So, let's get into the show, what do you say? So, Monday motivation with coffee and confidence, we can do anything. Um... I hope so. I do hope we can do we can do anything, right? So if I say to you or mention to you the name of Zachary Ty Bryan, do you guys know who I'm talking about? Hmm? Um So Zachary Ty Bryan, let me get a picture of him from back then. Here we go. Open image, new tab. There we go. So this here is Zachary Ty Bryan. Uh, if you were a consumer of sitcoms back in the '90s, uh, Home Improvement uh, with Tim Taylor, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, this is Zachary Ty Bryan. He was the eldest son of three boys uh, that him and his wife had. Um, he has had some problems. Um, once the show was over with, he uh, kind of struggled with getting uh, parts and uh, stuff in Hollywood, uh, getting on shows and stuff. And sadly, uh, let's see, uh, uh, about three years ago was when it all started for him. Um, he got arrested. He was living, he's living out in Oregon. He got arrested um, for domestic uh, uh, with, with his, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if it was his girlfriend or exactly at the time, but anyway, uh, here's a little news clip from the, the uh, TV station. New at there. 5, police in Eugene arrested one of the stars of 90 sitcom Home Improvement. Officers say Zachary Ty Bryan is accused of assaulting and strangling his girlfriend. Police say neighbors reported a fight around 1030 last night. Officers say they found Bryan sitting outside the apartment and the victim was next door. He's so so basically, yeah, he got on substances. Uh, alcohol and other things uh is he on meth now i don't know what he's on mike um uh i i really didn't dig too deeply to find what his his substance of choice is uh this was about like i say about three years ago that this occurred and this happened uh then this past july um he got into another domestic uh, this time, uh, the, the woman that he got into domestic with is actually the mother of his children, or child, rather. Um, and uh, uh, this, uh, I, I guess they're kind of like a, a TMZ type station or whatever, uh, got uh, this footage. This is from the back of the car, police car after he had been uh, arrested. Uh, he's looking a lot worse uh, at this point. Um, I'm not for sure exactly what he's on, uh, what he's using or abusing at this point in time. Um, but here's a, a little snippet of, of this, this ride. Charged with assault and strangulation. He's also accused of trying to take the... Oh, st that damn it. Let me get the right one so going here. So up. I don't know why you guys did this to me. Well, I didn't do it. She's so pissed, huh? What? She's so mad. I literally got attacked, and I'm the guy that's going to jail. The reality is that she can't have me, and she's trying to put me in jail for it. How long have you been with her? I've known her for like seven years. 
I met her, I went to USC, so we met at a tailgate for the duck game. But as you can as you can see here, he's he's his his body or what he was everything is a lot more slender, sunken in. I don't know what drugs he's on. Um, I don't think it's just solely alcohol. Um, there's a um, let's see here. Let me pull this up. Here's an article from Entertainment Magazine says that uh, he pled guilty for felony assault. He get he got seven days in jail. That's it, guys. Uh, he assaulted the mother of his children or child rather i keep saying children i think it's just one child um and uh he just got and it was felony i mean it wasn't just like a, a simple assault and battery or whatever no this was felony and he just got seven days in jail it's mind-boggling to me absolutely mind-boggling that someone can compete can can that somebody can um, commit felony assault and only get seven days in jail. Um, he's 42 years old. Uh, says he pled guilty to felony assault in the fourth degree. Um, as part of the negotiation resolution, rather than spend 19 to 20 months in the Department of Corrections, he received a downward dispositional departure that also included the dismissal of a second count, right? Three years of supervised proba probation, seven days in jail, no contact with the victim without a probation officer approval, and treatment for alcohol and substance abuses. So, I hope that this young man can, well, he's not a young man, he's 42 years old. He's a, he's a, he's a grown-ass man, right? <laughs> I hope this dude can can get his head out of his butt and can get his life score. I mean, especially if he's got a child out there that he's responsible for. Um, you know, um, the, the, there's there's no greater responsibility than to be a, a father uh, to to your child to be there for him that a person can take on in you know. Um, anyway, um, he it says, you know, Sam was previously arrested in 2020 for similar charges of assault against his then girlfriend, uh, Johnny Faye Cartwright and pleaded guilty to misdemeanor, menacing and misdemeanor assault. Um, um, so he, you know, he said he was saying the 2020 arrest got so blown out of proportion and that he didn't, and that he didn't really get all that physical. How do you, what do you mean? If you lay hands on another person, well, is there, there's degrees of physicality. I guess there's different degrees of end results of how much you punch their face in or whatever. But anyway, um, uh, anyway, so um, uh, Tim Allen just goes on to say here in this, uh, this, uh, what's it going? Okay. Um, said he's deviated from the from the guy he knew, right? Uh, so of course, um, uh, anyway, like I say, I, I uh, Tim Allen says I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, Allen then told THR Zach is a great kid who has grown into a complex man. All you can do is step aside and let somebody go through their process. At a certain point, he deviated from the guy I knew to somebody who is reacting to situations that I had nothing to do with and can't control. I don't know what happens when people get corrupted. I, uh, you just don't know. Um, so anyway, um, like I say, I hope that, uh, I hope that uh, Zachary can kind of get things uh, squared away. I hope that he can uh, get, um, like I say, his head out of his butt. Um, anyway. Um, anyway. Uh, let's see what we got in chat here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like I say, guys, I don't know what kind of drugs he's on or what he's doing. I don't know. That's... I don't think that's at this point it's kind of uh, irrelevant. I just like I said, I just hope he kind of gets things. Uh, uh, hope he gets things squared away. Um, in other celebrity news, 
Um, this, uh, this incident happened back, um, let's see here. This happened back in November, uh, but it's just now kind of coming to light. Um, or at least I'm just now kind of seeing this. So if, uh, if I say this name, Nicholas Bolia, do you guys, uh, uh, do you know who Nicholas Bolia is? If I say Nicholas Bolia, hmm? a lot of people don't know who, uh, Nicholas Bolio is. Okay. Uh, so if I say, let's see here. So if I, let's see here, probably can zoom that in up a little bit. Yeah, I can bring it up a little bit. So if I show you this picture, do you guys know who Nicholas Bolio is now? Okay, that is Nick Hogan. That is Hulk Hogan's son. Now, back in the, I don't know, when was that show on? When was that show on? Yeah, early 2000s, uh, Hogan's Those Best was on. Um, so, uh when that show came on or whatever, I think Nick was, because uh, I remember watching that with my wife. I want to think Nick was like uh, late teens. I think it is late teens he was. Um, shortly, I think after the show went off the air, um, let's see here. Where is it at? Because I thought I had. Do I have that? Oh, I, oh, where is it at? What did I do with it? Did I not? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah. So back in 2007, I'll bring this up here on the screen so you guys can see this. So back in 2007, because, um, which was, I think, I don't know if the series was still on. It may, it may have been still on, which, but it went off anyway. Um, Nick had competed in a, was he was going into racing and stuff right, and he he was doing he, whatever anyway he got one of his buddies in there with him, um. Uh, yeah, Nick and two of his friends drove uh, to of Hulk Hogan's cars to a steakhouse in downtown Clearwater, Florida. Nick drove a Toyota Supra, and John was his passenger. Witnesses recall seeing the Supra and the other vehicle, a Dodge Viper, racing in a 40-mile-per-hour zone, but road conditions were wet, and Nick lost control of the Supra. A fishtail spun out across the road, <clears throat> first crashing into a median strip and then into a palm tree. Okay. Um, anyway, um, his passenger, John, right, um, wound up... Um, he, anyway, he, he, I don't know if the proper term is to this day. He's a, I know that his mom has to take care of him. He, he is uh, basically like a, uh, uh, he's a paraplegic or quadriplegic. I don't think he, I don't think he can, I don't think he can move anything. Uh, I think he's basically, uh, I know he had uh, some brain damage, things like that. Um, Nick's, uh, after the wreck of everything, uh, Nick, they found alcohol in his, in his blood system. Uh, he was 17, uh, which 
should not have been there, right? Um, so, um, anyway, uh, there was a, uh, there was a trial, um, uh, uh, anyway, um, Nick was, uh, sentenced to eight months in county jail, uh, and five years of probation in order to drive license suspended for three years. Uh, then Nick got out of there. Uh, John's family sued, uh, the Hogan family. Uh, and they settled for $1.5 million. Uh, uh, anyway, so that's kind of some old history, but you need to know that if you didn't know this beforehand, uh, that, uh, so Nick, this is not the first time that Nick, uh, has had a run in with law enforcement, uh, and you know, their, uh, alcohol uh, being involved. Um, and the last time, like I said, uh, there was a young man uh, who was permanently uh, um, injured uh, because of that. So back in November, or early November, um, Nick, who's now uh, 33, uh, was pulled over for, again, drinking and driving. Now, uh, and once again... Um, pull this up here uh we'll just uh, we'll just okay so um so nick was you know drinking and driving and then all of a sudden his dad shows up once again uh at this uh says uh newly released uh body cam footage shows the moment the wrestling legend hogan sh uh, appeared uh, at the scene of his son's du dui arrest um so this, you know, like I said, this happened back in November, but this, this footage and stuff is just now coming out. Um, anyway, um, uh, he, he was placed under arrest after failing uh, the field sobriety test. He later refused a breath alcohol test. Um, uh, says uh, that Hulk Hogan, right, whose real name is Terry Bo Bolia, uh, arrived at the scene just before his son was placed into a cop car. Uh, the 70 year old emerged from his pickup truck wearing a shirt with his own face on it and walking with a cane. <laughs> I don't know. I just find that kind of a, a little bit, I don't know, weird that you would show up at your son's DUI arrest and you're wearing uh, a Hollywood Hogan t shirt. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Whatever, right? Um, uh, Hogan says, I'm good, man. Just checking on my son. The officer told Hogan his son was likely too impaired to drive and faced a DUI charge. Um, Hogan says, I'm, this is crazy. I'm sorry about this. Police led Hogan over to a car where his son was sitting in the back seat in handcuffs. They took down his contact information on the car door so the two could talk. Uh, Hogan asked his son if he's good. Hogan remained at the scene for several minutes, according to a long cut of the video. Speaking to an officer, he recounted his night with Nick at the restaurant where they were judging a bikini contest. Well, that's nothing. That's a real good father-son bonding, I guess, ex experience. You and your son sit there and throw back a few and judge a, a bikini contest. Uh, he said he did not recall seeing his son drinking, but figured he must have started after Hogan left for the night. Uh, Clearwater Police uh, video also showed what well, led up to uh, below, below his arrest, an officer approached uh, Billy and his fat passenger, who he later said was his girlfriend, after pulling him over for a suspected violation of Florida's move over law. Uh, he said, you almost ran me over. Uh, that's just like whatever. Um, here's some, some video, I guess, of the arrest. How you guys doing? Good, sir. How are you? Good, man. Just checking on my son. He's impaired driving. He's impaired? Mm -hmm. He's currently in custody for DUI. DUI. Did he, did he blow? Okay. We're at that point right now where he's asking if he's willing to blow or not. Cool. Let me find my way real quick to see where this is. Crazy. Sorry about this. It's all right. So 
So anyway, so you know, Hogan says, let, you know, let me let me call my let me call my lawyer and see what lawyer says for him to do, right? And of course, this article also brings up the fact that he was sentenced to jail for the 2007 crash. They left uh, him and his friend John uh, Grazino uh, seriously injured. And then, of course, like I said, he was 17 at the time. Uh, Deborah Gazzino, John's mother, provided the following statement to WFLA in response to Billy as DUI charge. Um, she says, uh, the only thing that I have to say is that he should be ashamed of himself, uh, knowing that he virtually cost my son his life for all intents and purposes. He should have been living a life to honor my son, at, son by at least never drinking or never driving recklessly again and potentially harming someone else. He's a grown man now, and his behavior is disgraceful. Uh, so, anyway, um, yeah. So today's, I guess, theme was, uh, you know, two young men, two young boys that uh, had uh, wild opportunities um, and squandered them. Sadly, sadly squandered them. Um, I hope that Nick can get and deal with whatever issues he's dealing, got to deal with. Uh, and, and, you know, drinking and driving is just not cool. It's just not cool. Um, yeah, homie calls his dad and it's freaking hook. You know... I don't know. I guess back in the day, maybe I might have been a little bit more, you know, but these days, I, I think the bloom's off the rose on that one. Um, there's still some wrestlers that I, that I, you know, uh, I guess kind of, you know, admire or look up to, but Hogan, Hogan is not one of them. Mm. All right. So let's get into some, I don't know what you would call this. These are some Twitter Twitter stories that were out there. So let's just kind of, I guess, talk about some of this stuff. Um, we'll wrap this up and um, have some laughs and uh, maybe you know, uh, enough. So you guys remember that Willie Wonka experience that happened over in Glasgow? Remember all that? Yeah, I mean, you know, we covered it over on Clear as Mud uh, and everything. Um yeah, the organizer of the Glasgow Willy Wonka experience claims his life has been ruined. Uh, in an interview with Channel 5 as part of their documentary on the event, uh, Cool, I guess, Cow, Cow, C-O-U-L-L, -L, Cow, said that his life was ruined by the backlash to it. Well, dude, not for nothing, right? But when you were charging the kind of money that you were charging um, for this type of event, um yeah, a little backlash would be, I would think. But anyway, whatever. Uh, maybe he can go on and do some good things too. Um, this poor girl here, I know she got a lot of people were saying some stuff. And I think maybe I might have even had some hot takes about. It. Turns out that she was actually um, a pretty decent person. And she was trying to uh, make it as memorable as she could for some of the kids. I remember she was talking about she was lim was told to only give him like a couple of jelly beans or what have you. Total crazy nonsense type stuff. Um, I know she put out a, a, a little video, I don't know if it was on Instagram or wherever it was exactly, but um, I think she was a pretty decent person. Uh, and I just think she was kind of put into an awkward position. I think most of the entertainers that were uh, hired, uh, actors or whatever, that were hired to be a part of this event, we're just really put into a bad situation. Um, I don't, I don't know if these guys that you know this guy here that uh, I guess he was like the the uh, uh, the organizer. I don't know if necessarily if he's a bad guy or not. I don't know if this is one of these deals where he tried to to do something and it spiraled out of control. I don't know. Um, but uh, anyway, hopefully he can uh, uh, can right the ship or whatever and be able to to go on and do something else somewhere um so this thing here i don't i saw this i don't know this is kind of wild but uh De dextro what a dextro whatever is alleging that this burger was caught on camera doing yoga 
and stretching before robbing a bakery. What would you, what are you going to rob from a bakery? Listen, if you're doing stretches and then you're going to rob a bakery, what are you going to get? Like bread? You want some fresh bread? Why? I don't, the, I don't think they're going to have the dough that you're looking for. They're going to have like dough or bread. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't, but let's see this. Watch this. Let's see. I mean, mute that because I'll get uh, the music there. But yeah, they're, they're just doing these. I don't, are they really stretching or are they just on something? I don't know. I, it's just, that's just wild. It's just, it's just anyway. <laughs> I, like I said, I don't think the bakery is going to have the type of dough that this person is, is, is looking for. Um, so, yeah. So, I don't know where this is. Marietta? Where is this at? Uh, let me see if I can find where this is at real quick. California. Make, oh, yeah. Okay. No more is needed to be said. It's in California. So, due to privacy laws, <laughs> I guess cops cannot show the faces of alleged criminals. So now... When they post out pictures of people being arrested, they are you putting these little Lego heads on top of the people. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, explain that the reason they're adding Lego heads to photos is to shield detainees' faces to comply with a new state law prohibiting the release of mugshots and booking photos of those accused of nonviolent crimes. Holy cow. Holy cow. Of course, California is also the place, like if a person decides to come in and rob your store, as long as they don't take over, like, was it $1,500, I think it is, something like that, uh, they won't even prosecute them, right? So people can just go in there and buy, like, they can go in there and just steal, like, their groceries for the week. Hey, I ain't got to worry about paying it. Hey, what's, what's $150, $200 worth of, of groceries uh, that you don't have to pay for a week? Wouldn't that be, that's lovely, right? And then, and then from what I understand, I think a lot of businesses and stores, retail stores, things like that are closing up shop and they're leaving. And I wonder why. I wonder why. Yeah. Oh, ding, dang it. Imagine that. I'm dribbled all over myself like some sort of kid. I'm going to give me a sippy cup. Imagine that. A business actually wanting, wanting to make a profit. Holy cow. Are you serious? For shame, for shame, for shame. So, did you guys know that uh, Elon Musk had been working on this Neuralink chip, right? You guys know about that? I'm sure you do. Everybody knows about it. Um, so, they implanted it into this guy who uh, is paralyzed. And so, they put it in there and the pair, the, so, they, this guy's now was able to actually communicate with this computer via the neural link and was able to play play chess. Chess. Play chess. Or let's play with somebody's chest. I don't think the neural link's going to squeeze some girl's boobies, but maybe I'm mistaken. I think it I just know. became intuitive for me to start imagining the cursor moving. Um, basically, it was like. Uh, using the force on a cursor <laughs> and I could get it to move wherever I wanted just stare somewhere in the screen and it would move where I wanted it to um, which was such a wild I think it just became in so basically he has the force in him now as long as it comes to the computer he can just think it and that's where the mouse goes so um, you know I know there have been some people that have come out you know, that's horrible whatever. I, I don't um, I don't think it's, it's, if it gives people who are paralyzed like this gentleman here, some sort of, um, normalcy to where they can do things to make themselves a little bit more independent or a little bit more, um, you know, able to enjoy life and some of the things that I don't, I think that's cool. I think it's cool. Uh, he actually went on, uh, to post on X, right, Twitter, uh, using his thoughts. He says, uh, he, he tweeted out, says, 
Uh, Twitter banned me because they thought I was a bot, and X and Elon Musk reinstated me because I am. <laughs> that's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. That's, that's pretty funny. Um, uh, Voters Mike, it's also worth mentioning he's quadriplegic, so he might as well have, Exactly. If, if the guy's quadriplegic, means he can't move his arms, he can't move his legs. He's The world is wrong with you. You're 55, and I certainly expect better from you. What is a donation? I'd love the stars. Welcome back. Missed you, people. Um, thank you. I uh, love the stars for the five dollar tip. I appreciate that. Um, uh, but anyway, that's yeah, exactly. Like I said, if you know, if a guy or a girl, whatever, if the person um, is paralyzed like this, right, and they have uh, very limited abilities to do things, and a neural link like that expands the world for them, allows them to do uh, things a little bit more normalcy in their lives. I'm all for it. 100% I'm all for it. Let's see what else here. Okay, it's just Neuralink. Um, but anyway, no, good, good on them. I mean, uh, I, I think that's good, right? Um, so what's this next thing Purple sent me to look at? There's, you know, there's some things that we can always count on that Purple's going to find things for me to watch to try to, you know, get my goat. How to be unhorsed without being unhorsed. Uh, let's take a look at this. Holy smokes, what happened? <laughs> that, that dude right there is slicker and greased out shit. He just went around that horse's neck, come back up around and got on. There you go. Good on you, dude. Good on you. That's some horse riding right there. What else we got here? What is this? Uh, I don't know. Spider I get a tattoo. I guess that's a tattoo. Okay, so we got to look at the final product. <sighs> Something tells me this guy probably should have seen Rabbi Jane. I've seen some of Rabbi Jane's tattoos, and she's a hell of a lot better. And and whoever this person is, they probably should have went and seen her. I'm pretty sure she could have done a better rendition of Spider-Man than whatever this thing here is. Holy cow. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. Uh, let's see what else we got. What is this here? How to lose a job in five seconds. What do we got here? Okay, so we got a Corvette. Is that like a cor look, looks like a body, Corvette body up on the lift. Let's see what happens. Oh, Sam Hill. Dude just gonna walk away. Okay, so there's no engine. There was nothing. There was no weight. Well, hang on. Why would you look at this? Okay, so you see right there, right? There's no engine. There's no engine in this car. So there's no weight. You've got in your. Mm. I guess they didn't have it centered on there where it was a good balance. Why would you, I don't, I'm not, listen, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not an auto body dude. I don't know. I don't, I mean, what, it, but dang, dang. That's just, anyway, yeah. Okay, what's this last one? Got one more here, and we're going to call it a day, guys. What is this? I get a kick uh, out of this dog. She loves her some. She loves her some her. Someone gives her fairy wings, and now she's a fairy princess with a purse. What? Okay, she warned me I'd have to do the, the sound on this one because it's... Let's see here. So, okay, so she has... All right, so they have the little thing for the dog. Right to get, you know, and she wants she wants the wings on. And then she goes look at herself in the mirror. <laughs> oh my lord in heaven! That dog is something else, man. And look, she could not grab the purse. Did y'all see that? Let me back that up. 
She goes over and grabs a purse. Yeah. My own. My own. Guys, did you see that? There's like a whole line of purses. So she goes and picks out the one that she wants that day. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? That's insane. So I have to ask, I have to wonder on this, right? Like, how much, how much of that How much of that is just like learned behavior that they train the dog to do? And how much of that is the dog just doing it? I, you know, I don't know. Things like that, just whatever. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's it's still, it was still cute. And, and I think it's a perfect way to end the show today. So we had some really horrible things about, you know, with with, uh, with those those two men. And hopefully like they can get their lives straightened up. And then we end up with a, a princess doggo with the fairy wings and a purse. I mean, I think that's pretty well balanced, right? We just kind of kind of balance it. Um, I am I'm in the middle of writing uh, another script uh, for another video. I don't know exactly when I'll be able to get it out. I I had hoped to finish getting the final touches on the script this weekend. It didn't work out. The weekend was busier than what I had uh, planned. Um, so uh, um, I will hopefully get it wrapped up here in the next day or two. And then I'll get to, you know, so hopefully, uh, I don't know if I'll get it out this, this, this week, but maybe next week I'll get the video out. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, right now I'm going to tentatively say that I will be back Friday morning uh, to do a, a morning stream. If something pops up um, that I think is is uh, enough there to cover whatever, uh, maybe maybe we'll win, uh, do a Wednesday one. Um, all I can tell you is um, uh, I guess if you're interested and in, in, in want to see, you know, uh, follow my Twitter. Um, like I say, there's, I do have a discord. I will be making announcements and stuff in there as well. Um, like I say, if you do decide to join the discord, just know that there's, it's a two-step process. Uh, you have to go through authentication. It's, it's simple captcha, simple type captcha type in, uh, you know, uh, authentication and stuff. It's no big deal. Um, I want to thank you guys all for, for tuning in this morning. Um, I appreciate it. Um, and like I say, you guys have a, a wonderful day. And as always, remember guys, keep your powder dry and I will see you in the funny papers. <laughs>